Hello everyone and welcome to my weekly update. I just want to change the narrative this week and look forward to the coming months ahead as life gradually becomes the new normal, whatever that might be. We've been so proud as farmers and growers to be feeding the nation, to be playing our part in the national interest and keeping the shelves full of high quality British food at all times. But I want to look to the future and I want to look to four strands of work and starting with retail, We've seen brilliant effort by some of the retailers on looking at British sourcing, on promotions. We feel it's really time now to deliver on Buy British from the Home, making sure that people who are continuing to shop online have that opportunity with the Buy British button to be able to source British food whenever they want. That is perfectly possible with the barcoding. We've been talking about it for years. Now is the time to do it. Out of home eating. We want to make sure that as the new normal comes back online, that we are really, really sourcing British food, British raw ingredients in all our restaurants, our hotels, our food to go, our drive throughs If I look at procurement, we now have the capability through Red Tractor and One Stop Assurance to deliver on the whole of the balance scorecard. There is no reason, nothing stopping us now to make sure that we have wherever possible British procurement in our hospitals, in our schools, in our prisons and right across our military. And fourthly, let's make sure that trade is about high quality British food as we start to negotiate those trade deals around the world. Let's not leave it out. Let's be really proud of our roots and the opportunities, not only with our own home market, but abroad as well. So for me, I just finished with the same message. Look after yourselves, stay healthy. And I really look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.